What is going on guys and welcome back to another episode of Louisiana Outdoorsman. This intro is being filmed way after the trip. I didn't realize until I went started editing that whenever I first started filming with this new SD card for some reason I had a formatting error and deleted like my first couple clips which one of them was my intro but me and my buddy Dustin in this video went out to uh, the Chafalaya Basin and fished one of the same spots that I did last September if you guys seen the Gagala and Brim video around the September time of last year we went to the exact same spot I said look if I caught these fish spawning on trees around this exact time and the water level is the exact same, these fish should be in the exact same spot spawning on the trees again. And uh, without ruining the video, let's just say they were spawning on the trees for sure. And uh, we definitely got on a few fish, should I say the least. But uh, you guys are definitely going to enjoy this video. I'm not going to keep you guys waiting any longer. So stay tuned and uh, hope you guys enjoy. There he is. There he is. Oh yeah. <laughs> That's some hammers, boy. That's what took my eyes the same thing. That's the same. No, for real. The way you hit it? Boy. Oh. Another one. That's some hammers, <laughs> boy. They in here for the spawn. That's like almost a bass. We ain't fishing the water together, cuz. Doubling up. <laughs> you better go somewhere. <laughs> there he is. Oh, that's a good one. That's a bass. Put him in the box. <laughs> Y'all ain't gonna get no bass, we're catching them all. Dude, that's a good one. Yeah, that's a good one. Around the top of the mouth, your boy wasn't coming off at all. Bro. You. <laughs> About a pound? Something like that? My dust will stay is getting hung up in the tree. Oh, shit. <laughs> that's me catching a lamb fish. I had a bite right when I put it in, I threw it right back over. Cause I'm fishing, I'm fishing pretty deep. This is right here. What y'all don't know is Bill Dance is my daddy. <laughs> Bill Dance is my friend. Huh? You gotta keep that in the water. That's it. Just gotta aerate it. Yeah. Put your little shrimp on him, boy. Oh, boy Get your hearty. <laughs> I'm <be> so mad. <laughs> Get a gap top in it. You could. Oh, what's a good one? <gasps> what's a brim? Yeah. I've been recording this whole time, too. <laughs> Take the part out of me shooting somebody and stab them. God damn, why is this hard to open? <laughs> Grease the hinges. There he is. That's a bad. Yep. Remember, I kept saying that because it's bad. <laughs> Big old bass. Big old catfish. <laughs> Damn, watch it out. Oh, he just broke off too. <laughs> the same size as the other one, bro. Perfect. Bad. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to be a tree right down the left side in that little hole. Bus, um, I 
Look, gage la. God no. Just put them in the chest. There he is. Oh, that's a there he is. I was under watching you. There he is. That's crazy. You, the minute you get around that point. Oh, Jesus, bro. I just had one right here. Little goggle eyes. There he is. Got him. Oh, I'll come up again. You did? Little goggle eyes. some good ones the colors on them boys you can't see it because the sun's all up in there but there you go put them in the chest boy hey i am stuck in All right, guys, that is going to be a wrap on today's video. It is actually way past the day we filmed, um, but I'm just realizing that I'm going to edit that I haven't even filmed the outro for this video yet. So here it is. And uh, I hope you guys did enjoy the fishing trip. We caught a lot of big goggle eye and brim uh, and also a couple of bass. So it was a good thing. They had a nice little mixed bag. Uh, actually didn't eat or clean any of the fish my buddy Dustin has a big pond in his front yard and you guys didn't see it but off camera we kept uh, letting some of the water out and then refiltering the water and putting fresh water in there to keep these fish alive since we didn't have an aerator it was basically the same concept we just kept putting fresh water in there and he actually released them all uh, in his pond and they all lived all went free in his pond and he fishes this, his pond a lot just for the fun of it so it was a good thing that the fish went to use, didn't die, and uh, we still had a good time and had a had a bunch of fish that we caught. So probably going to be hitting that spot here in the next few weeks or so because the spawn is on in that spot and the goggle iron brim are on the trees. So hopefully I'll get some more footage for you guys when I make another trip out there. But as always, come back for another episode of Louisiana Outdoorsman.